It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. Little by little, day by day, I'm more afraid of people's reaction to the coronavirus than the coronavirus itself. Every single day, I see some sort of news article or report about something that is really dumb. So for this video, I'm gonna share a list with you guys of my top five picks for the Darwin Awards for the coronavirus. And of course, this is like the list that I have so far because there are stories that come like every single day. But these are the stories, to me at least, that stick out the most. At number five is obviously religious buildings. If you type into Google or whatever search engine, you will find a mountain of articles talking about how there are various religious buildings like churches or mosques open during this whole entire pandemic. And honestly, it's kind of funny that it's coming from me of all people because obviously I don't like religion that much myself. But please guys, do not go to church or go to your mosque or synagogue or whatever during this sort of crisis because basically according to the data so far, we know that most people who go to these kind of buildings are like old people and the younger generation is the less likely they're religious, right? So I think it's a wise decision to close down the churches and the mosques and the religious buildings right now because if you have like a large group of people into those kind of places, you'll probably spread the virus much quicker. And so I think like if you want to, you know, celebrate your religious beliefs, you could probably pray to God at home. You don't need a religious building to do that. And also, you can prevent the disease from actually spreading towards more and more people. At number four is, of course, GameStop. As you guys probably know, there's a list of businesses that are not considered to be essential. And there's also a list that's considered to be essential. For the essential stuff, obviously, is like supermarkets as well as like restaurants. However, for like stores such as, you know, like uh, jewelry stores or movie theaters or whatever, basically those kind of stores are closed. However, for some strange reason, GameStop made the argument that they're, of course, an essential business and they actually are staying open during this whole entire crisis, putting their employees at risk because they want to make some sort of money during this whole entire crisis. Now look guys, I like video games so much, and matter of fact, throughout this whole entire crisis, I've been playing nothing but video games. But seriously guys, there's a difference between a want and a need. Video games are a want, they're a necessity, they're like a luxury. Whereas stuff like, you know, food and water are stuff that people actually need to have. And so I don't understand why GameStop is opening towards this sort of crisis, but that's like at number four, it's of course, you know, GameStop. At number three, it's of course, toilet paper. It's kind of funny that I mentioned toilet paper because this pack of toilet paper that I have in my hands right now is actually worth hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on eBay. I heard like people actually buy it for like $200 or like a thousand dollars just because they want some sort of toilet paper. In my country, there's entire shelves of no toilet paper whatsoever. There is like no toilet paper, there is no hand sanitizer, there is no soap, and sometimes the eggs are gone, sometimes the bread are gone, but like for weeks and weeks upon end, there's like no toilet paper at your local supermarkets in this country. And I honestly do not understand why there's so many clips that I see on YouTube or Twitter or whatever social media of people just fighting over toilet paper. I don't understand this whole entire exception with like, you know, toilet paper because toilet paper is not that serious. Why would people prioritize toilet paper over food? If there's like some sort of scientific study to demonstrate why people go at the toilet paper during crisis, I would like to read that. However, to my knowledge, it does not make any sense whatsoever why people are fighting over 
toilet paper. At number two is a guy named Boris Johnson. Look guys, I do not know much about British politics. I am not going to lie. Like there are some people on YouTube who give you the impression that they know every single thing that's going on. However, let's get real. I do not know nothing about British politics and therefore I'm not going to comment whether or not Boris Johnson is a good guy for Great Britain or a bad guy. Apparently I heard he was like, you know, the Donald Trump of Great Britain. I don't know about this guy. I'm not sure if he's good or bad. I don't have any opinion about this guy. However, there was like this press conference that I saw about Boris Johnson where basically he stated that he shook hands with a guy with the coronavirus. I am not joking. Here's the exact clip that I'm referring to to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. I'm shaking hands continuously. I was at a, I was at a hospital the other night where I think there were, a few, there were actually a few coronavirus uh, patients and I shook hands with everybody. Why do you agree with the politics of Boris Johnson, or don't agree, or a person like me who have no idea about this Boris Johnson guy, I think we can all agree that if you shake somebody's hand knowing that they actually have the coronavirus, that, my friends, is not a great idea. Like, why would you shake somebody's hand knowing that they have the illness, the disease, the virus? Like, I understand, like, there are some people who get the virus who do not know about, you know, a person being affected. That's fine. But if you shook somebody's hand knowing that they had the virus, I'm sorry, I cannot really feel sympathy for you. Like, days, like, after it happened, when he shook the hand of that guy, he actually got sick. And honestly, I'm not surprised that he got sick from that kind of stuff. And also, apparently, before he shook the hand of that guy who got the coronavirus, I heard an announcement from Boris Johnson that basically, like, he was not going to shut down Great Britain because of a reason. I just, I don't understand this Boris Johnson guy when it comes to the coronavirus. I don't understand, like, his politics with this kind of stuff, but that's just me. At number one, of course, are these stories and stories and stories of large numbers of people outside despite the whole entire crisis. Like we had a story in Florida where basically there was like college kids celebrating like you know spring break and at their spring break the students actually got the coronavirus. And also there was like a story in Spain where like a bunch of feminists gathered together on like March the 8th and it turns out that they also got the coronavirus because of that kind of stuff. And so these massive gatherings where people are together, that to me is scary. It's scary to think that there are so many people who are not taking this seriously and actually not using sort of, sort of precautions or whatever. As far as my nominations for like honorable mentions, I will say like at least two things. For example, there are some black people who think that black people can get the virus because they're black. Which is stupid because basically like everybody is affected by the virus no matter the race. There are also some politicians in like Mexico who believe that there is such a thing as the Mexican race and that apparently the Mexican race, and I'm not joking either, they think that the Mexican race cannot get the virus because they're Mexican. I wish I could make this stuff up, but it's not, it's not fake, guys. It's actually real. Let's say, for example, that there is such a thing as the Mexican race. Pretty much when, like, the Europeans first had contact with the Indians, the Indians died out because of diseases that the Europeans brought. So how could this so-called Mexican race survive something like the coronavirus? That to me makes no sense. But uh, anyway guys, uh, just uh, stay safe, stay at home, always wear your freaking mask outside, and of course, I will see you guys Next time! It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend.
Because black friends are rare as you should be aware He smiles like Richard Pryor so just sit and stare It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler